God will not like why God will not just like people were traveling. Why God will not allow me like God? Won't you just allow me go study? I'm not going for a bad thing. I'm going. I just need a study visa to go study abroad and make life better for myself and my family. God, don't you see where I come from? Don't you know that I am the first child? My parents need help. I need God. Can aren't you hearing me? That was me at that time. But look. Hi family, hi family, how are you doing? How are you all doing? How are you all doing? Hope you're doing great. Hope you're doing great. Yes, welcome to another brand new video. This is Victorious Living with Mirabel. Here we create faith-based Christian content, encouraging content. So if there's something you like watching or if you want to be part of this family, why don't you go ahead, join the family, like, share, subscribe to the channel. In today's video, I know I've been doing a lot of videos on financing and just putting out information and tips on how to navigate or how to switch your mind or just giving out knowledge on little little financial tips that could make a difference in your financial work so today i felt like hmm, we've talked so much about money like let's just, let, 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 let's just chill life is not about money like let's just chill let's just chill relax sir so today's video is going to be a story time like it's going to be a story time and i hope that the story comes out with a message of encouragement i'm going to be talking about rejected for purpose yes rejected for purpose i know most often when people talk about the word rejection we give it a negative connotation we look at it so negatively most people's life are ruined most people are working with baggage bitterness unforgiveness because they have viewed rejection as negativity they have allowed your rejections in life define them or put value on your worth as a human being yes as a human being so today i want to share a story of how some rejections hit my life so hard but how god turned those rejections into purpose or how god showed me in the later part that those rejections were for a purpose so i'm gonna be sharing the story yes and it's a story of my visa rejections yes how i got rejected rejected three times in two different embassies when i went for visa i know i've, I've mentioned the story before but not in this slide not in this perspective so before i came to canada for those who don't know i'm based in canada yes but i'm from cameroon originally born and bred cameroonian so before i came to canada after my university i tried getting admissions and seeking visa in two different countries i tried no i tried in multiple countries but i actually went to two embassies i went to the u.s embassy twice and i was refused visa i went to the ukrainian embassy twice and i was refused visa and for me the most challenging part was not the refusal was the fact that i went with my friends and all of them were given visa except me in both cases like all of them were given visa except me so for me that was a very big challenge i felt like whoo i felt like i wasn't good enough it was so morally degrading like i felt like i was cursed like there were just this thought on my mind questioning my very existence questioning my very value as a person questioning my my personality as a person questioning even my roots my descendants like where did my family go wrong where just like in the bible when the when jesus christ met someone was blind and people were asking him who sin was it him who sin or his parents that lead him to blindness i felt like i was in that place i was like okay all this rejection who sins like what is happening like 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 where so i just want to share that looking back now i feel like if we if we as children of god look at rejection in another light in another perspective it will really enlighten us it will really help us navigate life more hopeful more in faith and with more determination and more joyful back now and seeing what i where i am and some of the things that god is helping me by his grace accomplish and helping me do it just gives me the knowledge that sometimes when god closes door 
when God puts barriers, when God says no, it's not because you are not qualified. It's not because he doesn't love you. It's not because there's anything wrong with you. It's not a question mark on your value as a person. But sometimes we want to go with our intelligence. Sometimes we want to go with our emotions. Sometimes we are not going with the leading of God. Even when we say, oh, we hear God. Do, did we actually hear God or did we hear ourselves? Because we are so desperate to knock on that door. Or we are so desperate to go through that way or to do this thing or that thing. And when God, who sees the end from the beginning, realizes that this is going to lead to destruction. And he puts a no. Or he puts someone to say no. Or he puts someone to object to you. And you feel better. And you go back feeling not good enough. Feeling like your whole world is crumbling that was my case but i want to say that rejection could lead you to purpose your rejection could be the very purpose of your existence let's look at the case in second king 7 3 to 20 of the four lepers they were lepers the bible says they were out of the city the city gate because in those days lepers were always sent out of the city and they sat there there was famine in the land and they said to themselves if we go into the land we will still die of famine why don't we go into the camp of the assyrians what will happen like what worst thing would happen than what has already happened to us than where we are already so they went into the camp of the assyrian the bible records that god caused a great shaking in the camp of the assyrian the assyrians felt like a great army was coming against them and they ran and they left your food they left these people gather spoils and they ran back into the city these were lepers who were not allowed to mingle who were not allowed to come around men but because god used the same thing that people in the city used to reject them god used their rejection to bring them into a place of purpose to accomplish purpose and save a nation from famine they ran into that very area which has been a locked door for them which has been a no-go place for them and announced the good news of spoils in the camp of the Assyrians yes another example is Jesus Christ do we all know that for this the same people that Christ came for the Bible says that he was rejected he was not accepted the people did not accept him and because he was rejected he was arrested stoned, beaten to death the people in your mind the enemy felt like oh this is us destroying this so-called son of God but they listen to the enemy know that what the term destruction what the term rejection was actually leading to Christ's purpose to his very existence why he came which is the redemptive plan yes without the cross you and I will not be the victim of the Lord without the cross you and I will not be able to stand boldly now say I am free and free indeed so this is just some of the instances in the Bible and I want to use to encourage you your discouragement might be your discouragement or your rejection is or could be for a purpose your rejection could just be that launch into your purpose it all depends let me tell you something in life there are things that we cannot avoid some are offenses some are rejection people will reject you because they do not understand the calling and the purpose that god has upon your life not everybody is called to understand and not everybody is called to go along with you in this journey of fulfilling purpose and destiny that's why some people will reject you some people will fight your idea it's not about if you hear if you heard god word it's not about if you are qualified it is just that they don't understand all god has not put them in the place to go along that journey with you so when they close the door know that god has something great something better god is just so somebody said that rejection is just redirection like like rejection is just read god is just redirecting you god is just saying that no I know I, I you have, have a purpose upon your life. I know I sent you for a mission. Each and every one of us here on earth are for a mission. But it depends. Do you want to go or hear the voice of God and follow that mission? And trust me, you will be rejected. You will be persecuted. But how you react, how you take that rejection will determine if you accomplish if you use that rejection to accomplish that purpose. If your rejection will fuel you 
to accomplish that purpose or will break you down so yes rejection is not a negative word in its own it's how we react to it that makes it negative if we react to it negatively if we take it so personal we take it with the anger we take it with a pinch of bitterness we take it with a pinch of anger we take it with a pinch of unforgiveness then it becomes negative it becomes toxic but if you take it knowing that oh if god closed this door is because he's opened a new door oh if god uh, um stop this person from signing this contract is because maybe this person is not a good business um partner god has a great business partner for me oh if god just like in my case for in the longest time i could not understand why god will not like why god will not just like people were traveling why god will not allow me like god won't you just allow me go study i'm not going for a bad day i'm going i just need a study visa to go study abroad and make life better for myself and my family god don't you see where i come from don't you know that i am the first child my parents need help i need god can aren't you hearing me that was me at that time but looking back now i realize that yes truly god we use this rejection to launch us into purpose because my being in Canada is not one of the best things that has happened to me but the things that God is using me accomplish in Canada for me is more fulfilling than even my being here in Canada so I feel like that was God using those rejections to launch me into my purpose into my destiny so that was what i was going to share today that if you're someone has faced a lot of rejection in the past you are harboring unforgiveness you're harboring bitterness for those who rejected you i just want to encourage you forgive them let go and know that you that have put your trust in god you that god has your your life in his hand you as a child of god that god is directing god will not set you up for failure yes if go even when god says no is still a testimony because at the end of it it would have been a disaster it would have been worse so be encouraged learn to forgive those people and propose that great destiny taking you to the place that god has called you to be love you all don't forget to like share comment and subscribe to the channel